Bye. We are doing the Disney Plus tag. Yeah, we were tagged by Helena and Martin to do this. I'll put the channel uh, channel. I'll put the channel down in the description box. But most of you probably already follow them. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got tagged to do this by them. So basically, all the questions are about Disney Plus, the online streaming service. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had it since release date, and we have. Have we? Yeah. I can't remember. We, we pre-ordered it. We did, yes. Yeah, we got it on that cheaper deal, the ten for ten pound. Ten pound less for we've, a year. Yeah, so we paid for the whole year. Um, but yeah, we've watched so much on it so far. We have, yeah. <laughs> we've watched all of the things that are like the must watches. Must watch Disney Plus originals, I guess. Yeah, the stuff that only has come out on that. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff we've still got to watch, and we still want to watch. Yeah. But right, let's get on with the video. Okay, question one is, what was the first thing you ever watched on Disney Plus? Uh, well, well you, I just you looked at first. this. I just looked at our vlogs because we can't remember. It was the 24th of March that it got released and it's now August. So yeah. <laughs> uh, I w looked back because we weren't certain on what the dead first thing was. But um, yeah. I watched High School Musical, the series, the first episode. I, I, I didn't watch that. <laughs> you watched it when I was own. at work and stuff. So. Because Tom wasn't interested. No, I'm not too fussed about Which that. Which is really, sorry. it's really good though. If you like High School Musical, it's a good like homage to it. Homage. Um, so yeah, I watched that while Tom was at work because he had started at seven on the oh, release date. Yeah. Um, but then when we got home, um, we watched Lady and the Tramp. Yes, that was a good watch as well. Yeah, it was better than what we were expecting. I it thought to it was be. a lot better than I thought it was going to be with the CGI. I thought it might have been a bit funny yeah. looking, but it was quite with the dog quite and good. Stuff. We always say that they It's a really long film as well, isn't it? Yeah, they made it really long. They added in like extra little like detail-y bits. Didn't yeah, they? but it didn't seem that long, so... No, but we always said they could have chosen a better dog for like... I feel like the dog <laughs> actors, they could have done a little better. They grow, there's grown on me since watching it, but... Yeah, I don't know. The ones in the animated film, they make so cute. Yeah. But I don't know. I know what you mean. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like I don't know, but... I guess, but I think they chose dogs that would have been the age of them, whereas they always look like puppies in the animated. I suppose so. So, but yeah, that was our first thing we watched. We really enjoyed it, and if you yeah. haven't seen it, we definitely recommend that you do watch it. Yes. Uh, we also did talk about all the stuff that we watched within like the first week of our um, Disney Plus, and we made a video about it, what we oh. watched so far, so I'll put that in like a little eye up here, and I'll put a link to it in the description as well. Oh. Okay, question number two is what two. is the favourite thing, most favourite thing that you have watched? Favourite um, thing overall? Yeah, what is the f most favourite thing you have watched so far? So, does it, as in, because it's not a dis for me it's not a Disney Plus exclusive. Oh no, it's just on Disney Plus. Oh, that would, mine would be the Tangled series. The Tangled the series, I know. That's the one that we always it's like, really good. talk about. Yeah. yeah, but no, it's really good and we're waiting for series two. Which it's, it's not on. It came out on the Disney Channel, um, but season two and almost three is on the US, but we've only got season one in the UK, so we're always talking about how we can watch season two. Yeah. Um, but we just don't have Disney Channel at home, so, which but, is sad. But no, I definitely recommend watching the Tangled series. But story's really good so far. Yeah, the it really Oof. draws you in. Like, it is for kids, but it's not for kids. Yeah, well, no, my sister's watched it she said she really liked it yeah and it gets and stuff more like that. in depth in season two apparently yeah and we just we're stuck it's sad that it's not on yet but let's carry on because that's that's <laughs> we my could favorite. talk about it forever yeah um, just go watch it it's good i don't know what my other like favorite thing would be i do really like um fairy tale weddings and the imagineering story yeah well they're all or anything to do with the disney parks is good like because you just get that yeah. disney world or you know disney park magic exactly and you learn about it as well yeah. my problem is that i can never retain the information for longer than like the day that i've watched it oh no <laughs> like i know like the opening dates of all the parks but everything else like i really enjoy watching it and listening to it and then like two days later i'm like oh i really feel like i need to watch it again oh yeah <laughs> for me 
I'd say Mandalorian as well, just because oh, yeah. I just like Star Wars, but yeah, Mandalorian. I'm sure good. it will show up further in this video, so we'll carry yeah. on anyway. Question three is what have you watched the most on Disney Plus? The most? Yeah, I'm trying to think. It probably is. Oh, or is it Baymax? It we watched Baymax because we watched that the so, entirety of that, didn't we? So the two seasons that we've watched from Disney Channel is Tangled the Series, which I don't know how many episodes that ha it, bleh, that, that is. has, and then Baymax, so Big Hero 6, the series. Yeah. And I don't know how many episodes that has, but if that has more, then that's what we've watched most of. Yeah. Because we haven't rewatched anything, I don't think. We haven't rewatched anything, no, not Once yet. we've watched it, we like go on something else because there is so much that we want to watch. Yeah. Um, so I would say Big Hero 6, the series, which is also really good. It is. We watched the first few episodes. It didn't like really get into it until yeah. like the last half. Yeah. But there's a lot of filler episodes, isn't there? Yeah, well, if you like Big Hero 6, you're going to like this. It's a little less story-driven, I guess, until the end. Well, there's a running storyline throughout, but there's lots of, like, mini-stories yeah. throughout, like, on top of that. Yeah. And then there's filler episodes in between, so... Yeah. Number four is, what are you currently watching on Disney Plus? Uh, what are we watching? We haven't watched... We've... <laughs> not watched anything recently because we can we... only get it on the Xbox and Tom's taking that back upstairs to play Halo. And we've been stuck on Umbrella Academy. Yeah. I know this is not, so not to do watching... a Disney Plus but we've been stuck watching that. Yeah, I did start the watching the fairy tale weddings again because we wanted again. something to put on in the background while we were like doing stuff. Yeah. Um, but I think the next thing we're going to watch is the Mandalorian behind the scenes thing. Oh yeah, we? that and the the Frozen. The Frozen one, the Into the Unknown. Yeah. We've not watched either of those yet and they came no, out ages they ago. They did, yeah. I also am currently watching Hamilton. I only watched half of it because me and my friend Bronte were going out to have drinks but we had like an hour and a half to kill before and we thought that we'd see what all the hype was about. Um, I've never watched it. And I've not had the draw to watch the second half again yet. Purely because I don't know much about the American Revolution and yeah, <laughs> it's a bit confusing when you're not really too sure what you're watching. Oh. So I think I need to restart it again and watch it like on my own, if uh, that makes sense. I'll watch it. It's a bit like, we watched it with the subtitles on. I don't know if that's bad, but we watched it with subtitles on so we actually like got the information. Sometimes you can't really tell what they're saying. Oh, I see. Sorry to anyone who absolutely loves this. So many of my friends absolutely love this. And me and Bronte just were like, I feel like we need to research and then watch again. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe I'll have it's to good. I'll have to watch it and see like, if I get that as all well. All the parts of it are really good, but um, it took us a while to get into it. Yeah. Apparently the second half's a bit more like romantically driven. So it's more of the like couples and stuff rather than the war and stuff. Oh. But yeah, Hamilton and then the Mandalorian and Frozen thing. Number five, what made you most emotional that you've watched on Disney Plus? Emotional? Yeah, mine's Pick Me of the Litter. Might see, this is... I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, I got so sad at Pick of the Litter. Not because, like, anything bad happens, but just because I love Labradors, and it's oh, basically no. a, about six Labradors that go through, like, training to be a guide dog, and I was just like, oh, I feel so, like, come on, my God, yeah. you have to do it. <laughs> But it's like the build up, like when they say a dog might not make it, you know it's yeah. not gonna make it. And then when it doesn't make it, you're still super sad, sad anyway. <laughs> we so are sad. big animal lovers, so we We're get... We're so lame. <laughs> yeah. Like most people's like a really dramatic, like Simba's dad dies. Yeah. And you cry where like a dog didn't get to be a guide dog. <laughs> Just because it's like he built up his whole life to be that and he didn't get it. At least he gets to live at home with the people who trained him. Maybe. So I <laughs> guess that's a bright side to it. Number six is what made you feel the most nostalgic. Nostalgic. See, this is, I'd say, I don't know. Like, for me, Mandalorian's a weird nostalgic thing because me, my brother and cousin used to play this game called just uh, Bounty Hunter, so... Obviously, yeah. you're Django Fett. No, you're Boba Fett. And it's like throughout the Clone Wars and stuff. And it was on the GameCube, so. Yeah. That really reminded me of that because obviously it's all the Mandalorian stuff, and of course, Django's a Mandalorian yeah. and stuff. And it just gave me like. Throwbacks. Throwbacks of that game. Yeah. Whereas... Even though we were really terrible at the game and it was really hard. But... <laughs> 
Whereas mine was Three Men and a Baby. Well, yeah, yeah <laughs> that as well. I love that film, and I love that they're put in loads more like old like they've got a section on the home page now of nostalgic favorites or something yeah. like that and it's things like i've watched cheaper by the dozen and three men and a baby and three men and a little lady because the those are all just films that like me and my mum watched when i was a kid or me yeah. and my dad like on video recorders that you've recorded when it was on the tv yeah <laughs> yeah that just made me remember being a kid That's and then funny. again hannah montana and things like oh, that oh no <laughs> Okay, number seven is, do you tend to watch more series or more movies? I'd say series, definitely. I'd say series, but we do tend to just randomly put a film on at lunch or something sometimes. Yeah. Well, series, it's easier to get into a series, isn't we it? We watch and then... more series together, I would say. Together, definitely, And then yeah. we put more movies on, like, in the background. Yeah. So we watch, like, intently, like spend the time watching TV series. Yeah, I mean, it's easier to watch series than it is films, isn't it? Yeah, films are like time fillers. Yeah, well see, we got, we watched all the, like you said, pirates and stuff. Yeah, like Like it's hard time. to just go and do that. Yeah, I think there's just more new series to watch yeah, than there definitely. is more new movies to watch. Yeah, definitely more series. Even though they are now starting to put more films on, but you have to pay more for them. Like Mulan, you'd have to pay another like £25, I think it is, to watch Mulan be released now. £25? On top, yeah. Do you get it forever? Yeah, you get it forever. Oh, that makes a bit more sense. But, but still, £25 is a lot. wait and get the DVD. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Number eight is what do you wish was on Disney Plus that isn't? The rest of Tangled series. <laughs> <laughs> but no, well, that's a legitimate one. Yeah. But Definitely um, Onward. Onward, yeah, definitely. That should be on there. It, only because it's on the American one. Like, I don't know yeah. why. They I don't, don't just put why, everything no. all on the same. Because once you have Disney+, Plus, you should just put it like all on the same. Surely yeah. it's easier to just upload to all. What else isn't on there that I would want? I'd just say more like old films. like Old films. Like Three Men and a Baby and all that. Because they're my favourite films to watch. Yeah. Like, um, we watched 10 Things I Hate About You the other day as well, and that was really good. Yeah. Um, I don't really know other than Onward and the rest Tangled. of Tangled. That would do. That would give us a lot. Season 2 of Tangled would give us a lot to watch. Is I mean, stuff that already exists, right? Because I, like, yeah. I really want Mandalorian Season 2, but of course that's just because it's not on there yet. Yeah, it's on its way there. Uh, yeah, they're done filming it, haven't they? I think Martin said it's yeah. in editing, so exciting. Okay, number nine is, have you watched all the Disney classics on Disney Plus? Not no. all of them, no, but it's because you, you, you already had the DVDs. We have all so. the DVDs and we kind of just watch them, like, most of the time when we either feel like watching them or if we know that it's got an anniversary and we're like, oh, we'll watch that tonight. Yeah, like we watched Pocahontas recently because yeah. it was its, it's anniversary. anniversary. And we watched um, Princess and the Frog when we found out about Splash Mountain. Yeah. And just random things just like random that. Just random weird stuff. Like, yeah. We just randomly feel like watching films. Like we watched Finding Dora. We watched Finding Dory the other day. Yeah. That was just a spur random, of the moment. Yeah. Cause we ain't watched it in a while. So no, we haven't watched them all in order. I know a lot of people have, but we have watched all of Pirates in order and all of um, nearly all of the MCU. So all of the Marvel films. Yeah. But we watched Pirates because of, um, we watched the prop culture, right? Yeah, and so, then we felt like watching all five. Yeah. Okay, and then the last question is, what has been your guilty pleasure on Disney Plus? Guilty pleasure? Well, I know what is yours are going to be, um, the same as Helena's, isn't it? Like Lizzie McGuire and oh, stuff, Oh, yeah, right? I did watch Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> I have that on while I'm editing sometimes. I just, like, put it on on my film next to the laptop. <laughs> I don't know what mine would be. I don't know. I don't really class anything as guilty pleasure because so many things are like more acceptable now. Like back in the day, like things were guilty pleasures, but I don't know what, what classes are the guilty pleasure. I feel are. like we would have one, but we haven't watched it. And I would say it would be the like that Hey Jesse show. Oh, like yeah. I would watch that <laughs> just because it was on in we, Disneyland Paris. So in Disneyland Paris, we went in February. I'll put that in the description box as well and a little eye up here. Um, 
but on our trip, every time we came back from the park, because it closed a little earlier yeah. due to it being like winter and dark and stuff, and every time we got back to the room, Jesse was always on the TV. Yeah. So we always used to just like get sucked into watching Jesse, and now we know the theme tune off by heart but and that, everything. Yeah, that's like the same, the same yeah, vein as like I, Lizzie McGuire, I would say, I would say in say Hannah that Montana. Is a guilty pleasure. Because that I am like I'm not really too bothered about watching it, but I would literally watch it. I for would hours. watch it, but I'd be like, oh no, yeah. I would watch that just because it reminds me of being in like Disneyland Paris. Disneyland Paris. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, that is all of the questions. That was it. That Oof. was it. Um, yeah, that was really fun. So, like I said, I'm gonna put Helen and Martin in the um, comments. Okay, and we are just gonna tag one person to do this because I know that they will do it. Are you <laughs> um, sure? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> oh no, sorry. Um, but we are going to tag Olivia Story um, to do it, so I'll put her channel in the description box down below. Um, and definitely go subscribe to her as well because she's great. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.